in this video we're going to look at function notation on graphs in a real world application. So we're going to look at software security risks. We have a graph that shows the rise in registered security vulnerabilities in computer software over the last eight years or so, depending on the year you watch this video. So our first data point is at 2010 and there are 4,930 registered software security vulnerabilities. And by the time we get to 2017, there are 11,170 software security uh, vulnerabilities. And the graph is mostly increasing with a little bit of fluctuation in it. I'll read the necessary values as we work through the problems. First, like every good application problem, we're going to define the variables. So we're going to let t be the number of years since 2010. To make this easy, I can write over the axis here that 2010 is going to be time 0, 2011 is time 1, 2012 is 2, 2013 is 3, etc. So 2017 is time equals 7. So these are the time values n of t is going to be the number of registered security vulnerabilities in the computer software worldwide. That's a mouthful. So maybe we'll just say it's the number of vulnerabilities for short. The first thing we're going to do is estimate n of 3 and describe its meaning in words. n of t means that the input value is t. n of 3 would mean that the input value is 3. And the input here is time. That's the x-axis. So I'm looking for the point where time is 3. And so I look at time is 3, and I go up to the graph from that. And then I would look at where the graph correlates on the y-axis. If I do that, I'm going to say that this is about 5,500. Let's go ahead and say that n of 3 is 5,500. And that would mean that three years after 2010, so in 2013, there were 5,500 software vulnerabilities. Next question, find the t values where n of t is greater than 6,000 and describe the meaning in words. So let me go back and erase a little bit of this work I've done. We want the t values where n of t is greater than 6,000. So n of t is the output. So to taken together, that's the output. And remember that the input is the horizontal axis. Let me just label that. Input is the horizontal axis. Output is the vertical axis. So the input is the t values. And the output is the n of t values. OK, so when is n of t greater than 6,000? Let's draw a line at 6,000 and look at where the graph is bigger than that line looks to me like the graph becomes bigger than that line at 6,000 somewhere in 2013, maybe after we take our measurement in 2013. Let's just describe the meaning in words. So we would say that the number of software vulnerabilities in the world is greater than 6,000 after the year 2013. Next question. Describe the meaning of n of t equals 8,110 in words. So n of t is the output. So we're saying the output is 8,110. If the output is 8,110, we're saying there are 8,110 software vulnerabilities. Fourth question, does the graph n of t represent a function? And if we run the vertical line test on this, and we pass vertical lines through the graph at any point, we can see that vertical lines only touch the graph at one point. So we can say yes. n of t is a function because n of t passes the vertical line test. Finally, there were 7,210 registered security vulnerabilities in computer software worldwide in 2015. We want to write a mathematical statement for that sentence using function notation. So the trick here is just figuring out what's the input and what's the output. So the input is the time. Now we're given the year 2015, time 0 correlated with 2010. Again, having this index written on the x-axis is really helpful here because I can see 2015 is 5. 
So the input is 5 and the output is that 7,210. So I can write this with function notation. Remember we're using the function notation n of t. So here I'm going to write n of 5, the input, equals 7,210, the output. And then we have a nice short mathematical sentence. Look how long this sentence is in English. There were 7,210 registered security vulnerabilities in computer software worldwide in 2015. And how short the sentence is when we write it with function notation. N of 5 equals 7,210. Function notation can be a really nice thing.